Good day, everyone, and a warm welcome to Sagar Cement's Q2 and H1 FY25 Analyst and Investor Conference Call. We have with us today on the call Mr. Shrikant Reddy, the Joint Managing Director, Mr. K. Prasad, Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Rajesh Singh, Chief Marketing Officer, and Mr. Ira Raja Reddy, Company Secretary. Before we begin, we will begin this conference call with opening remarks from the management, following which we will have the floor open for an interactive Q&A session. Before we begin, I would like to point out that some statements made in today's discussions may be forward-looking in nature, and a note to this effect was stated in the con-call invite sent to you earlier. We trust you have had a chance to go through the results and the communication documents. I would now like to hand over to Shrikant for his opening remarks. Over to you, Shrikant. Uh, thank you, Gavin. Uh, good morning. Uh, everyone and welcome to Sagar Cement's earnings call for the second quarter and first off uh, year ending uh, September 30th 2024. Let me begin the discussion with a brief overview of the market in terms of demand and pricing post which I will move on to Sagar specific developments. Overall Q2 was soft quarter for the industry at large. Demand decelerated on back of extended monsoons and sluggish project executions. Volume offtake on, on the back of it remained restrained during the quarter. Pricing environment remained competitive across the regions. While the near-term outlook remains challenging, we believe structurally the trend remains positive from medium to long-term point of view on back of robust housing and infrastructure initiatives coupled with technological advancements and persistent focus on green energy. Let me now move on to our quarterly performance. As indicated in our previous calls, Q2 performance has been muted amidst demand and pricing challenges. Our overall volumes for the quarter stood at uh, 1.16 million tons. Lower volumes and utilizations more than negated the benefits of study input prices. For the full year, we believe our overall volumes to be in the range of around 5.75 million ton. Moving to the headline numbers, our revenue for the quarter stood at rupees 475 crores as against rupees 587 crores during Q2 FY24, lower by 19%. EBITDA for the quarter stood at rupees 20 crore as against rupees 60 crores generated during Q2 FY24. Margins for the quarter stood at 4% as against 10% in Q2 FY24. The EBITDA per ton stood at rupees 172 as against rupees 459 in Q2 FY24. Despite, despite uh, existing challenges related to demand and pricing, we are steadfast in our commitment to long-term objectives of cost reduction and operational environment enhancements. Anticipated improvements in the business margin profile and profitability in the coming years are expected to stem from enhanced energy mix, increased reliance on renewables, and improved efficiencies and utilization rates across our facilities. Loss, loss after tax today at rupees 57 crore for the quarter as against a loss of rupees 11 crore generated during Q2 FI24. Power and fuel cost to date rupees 14.46 per ton as against 16.26 per ton reported during Q2 FI24. Freight cost for the quarter to date rupees 8.30 per ton as against rupees 8.48 per ton during Q2 FI24. From an operational standpoint of view, Matampili plant operated at 42% utilization, while Gudipadu, Bayavaram, Jirabha, Jajpur and Dajpali plants operated at 83%, 52%, 59%, 20 and 27% respectively during the quarter. As far as the key balance sheet items are concerned, the gross debt as on 30th September 2024 stood at Rs. 1482 crores out of which Rs. 1169 crores as long term debt and the remaining constitutes the working capital. The net worth of the company on a consolidated basis as on 30th September 2024, stood at rupees 1921 crores. Long term debt equity ratio stands at 0.61 is to 1. Cash and bank balances were at rupees 163 crore as on 30th September 2024. In summary, we believe our enhanced capacity is positioned as well to capture the growing infrastructure and real estate demand over the coming years. Furthermore, our efforts towards diversifying the revenue streams and increasing our regional footprint should help us in improving the overall profitability profile of the company. That concludes my opening remarks. You will now be glad to take any questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you, Shrikant. Uh, we will start the Q&A session. Uh, I request all those who have 
who have questions to please please raise raise your hand we'll wait a minute we'll take the first question from nitin s dharmavat nitin please go ahead yeah thank you kevin and thank you for the opportunity am i audible yes, yes sir you are audible yes. yeah good morning sir yeah yeah so couple of questions so uh, cs we know that consolidation is happening in the cement industry and the recent one announced by orient cement also so what do you think uh, will be the impact of this consolidation on the industry in general and company in particular yeah uh, mr nitin uh, i i think consolidation generally is uh, is a good sign for a sector it could be any sector from pricing power and the number of competitive intensity also gets reduced that in general uh, is good for a medium to long term short term uh, there could be some impact in terms of you know when when uh, people try to reorganize themselves in terms of brand position and uh, consolidation of brands or any of that things could uh, always be slightly on uh, sidewards for for some time but on a medium to long term we believe that it's going to be beneficial now the 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 market footprint that we are in uh, i i think the impact of consolidation is going to be very very limited uh, because uh, if you look right from orissa to to north coastal markets of ap uh, and to certain extent in madhya pradesh uh, uh, the impact of uh, the so far the acquisitions the m and a that have happened or the consolidation that has happened has a very very limited footprint in the in those areas uh, it it definitely is going to Uh, have some impact in uh, south andhra and half of telangana uh, karnataka markets and tamil nadu markets so uh, our view is that uh, consolidation is good but uh, short term it could uh, it could have some impact uh, but it could be marginal one got it thank you my next question is so now how is the demand and price trend in our market and uh, what is the capacity utilization overall that we are running with now yeah nothing nothing much has changed from q2 uh, because we believe that uh, post deepavali slightly that the demand of tech is going to improve till the demand comes i think uh, prices more or less uh, remain uh, either uh, on a similar ground or there is some pressure in some pockets of south in fact uh, from exit of september to now also there has been some price correction downward uh, mp and uh, odisha we have seen some price increases sir anywhere between 10 to 50 rupees per bag price improve, improvement we have seen in uh, eastern market as well as in uh, madhya pradesh market uh, but in south some pockets uh, we did see some pressure on the price uh, even post uh, uh, september exit to to now uh, but this month being uh, Uh, two month uh, two festival month uh, and at the same time unfortunately weather wise uh, it looks like it is an extended kind of uh, uh, difficult weather uh, we see demand improving only from uh, first week of november onwards not before got it and my final question is about uh, the the debt you mentioned gross debt at 1482 crores what is the net debt that we have hello yeah 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 we did we did present uh, uh, it, but it's around 1293 sir got it thank you so much and we thank you thanks thank you nitin uh, next next we take a question from shravan shah shravan please unmute yourself and go ahead uh hi sir uh so uh, just continuing the uh, previous uh, one so uh, you mentioned that in mp odisha we have seen a 50, 10 to 15 rupees uh, per bag price hike from exit of september and for south if you can specify how much uh, decline we have seen and also if possible uh, state wise yeah uh, good morning uh, shavan uh, see i think the price decline in south uh, uh, is across the market sir and uh, whatever price increases that uh, was there for some time in september got eaten away and on top of it uh, we actually lost uh, 10 to 15 rupees primarily in uh, south tamil nadu as well as in uh, uh, andhra and uh, telangana 
I think it is uniform across the market, uh, Mr. Shah. Uh, so, so broadly, if I have to uh, uh, understand from the Q2 average, then uh, one can say, uh, is it fair to say, uh, kind of a two to three percent? Still, the prices are lower. See, it is June exit to September exit is ten to fifteen rupees. उसके बाद five to ten rupees का correction है further. Okay, June to September, ten to fifteen rupees uh, 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 up or down? Down, it is down. Though, though in between for some time, for two two weeks there was some price increase, but it got it got taken away from September exit to now. That is still, as we speak, it is five to ten rupees uh, across the markets in South. See, Bangalore, which was doing very well, unfortunately, it got hit in the uh, October month with heavy rains. Uh, so that that actually put some amount of pressure on the pricing uh, okay and and but uh, do we expect that uh, post diwali once the uh, demand picks up that's the hope uh, across the uh, all the players uh, they are expecting mal no, no, what do you want me to address? how do you want me to address i think uh, uh, our our belief is that uh, demand the lower demand actually put pressure on the price Or else, when the price was taken up somewhere around middle of September, it actually got absorbed for some time. But since demand did not, you know, the entire market expected demand to slowly start ramping up, that did not happen. So price immediately there was a pressure on the price immediately. So our understanding is that at least if not by first week of November, I think by exit of November we do expect prices to start slowly moving up. May not be in huge quantities, but at least some amount of uh, uh, price up, upward movement is likely to happen. Okay, got it. Uh, now coming to uh, specific to our company. So, uh, in terms of if I just do the math, five point seven five million ton volume that for FY twenty five we are looking at. Uh, so, I hope this is purely the cement sales and not the clinker one. So, no, as always, we have indicated only the cement sales, uh, Mr. Shivan. So that that that's the. Uh... Yeah. So the ask rate for the second half is uh, kind of a nine and a half percent. So. uh that should be uh, a doable uh, or or uh, see i think i think whether supporting uh, we 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 should be very close to that number i don't see major challenge with that because last year itself we have done close to 5.5 and then broadly if i have to look fy26 uh, how do we uh, look at for ourselves in terms of the uh, uh, volume uh, i think it is too soon but i think we should we should go back to the growth numbers what we have indicated before because this time it is long election year coupled with the weather wise it was always a challenge but i think close to 6.5 to 6.75 should be doable for the coming year uh, got it and this quarter have we received 23 crore incentive for uh, uh, mp yeah we did you are talking of q2 yes yes q2 sir uh, we did receive sir i think we we did inform uh, we did receive uh, uh, in the month of july itself we did receive uh, okay okay so if if we are if i remove that then the uh, the price decline for us is uh, 5.7 per, uh, percent kind of uh, for core uh, yes sir you. yes sir if you, you see i think uh, you are talking of ebitda ebitda is flat to negative if you remove that uh, got it got it. and now this will be every year we will be receiving this uh, yes sir yes sir And and will it be in the every uh, uh, second quarter? That's the way one can look. <laughs> right, it is due from start of uh, last year is already due, sir. What we received is uh, year before one, so last year is already due. So we 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 should receive some receipt is subject to government having money. So we are we are also hopeful that we should receive it sooner because whenever there is an investment uh, uh, meet in the state. Uh, they are trying to you know push this money so i believe uh, there is one which is happening right now so likely that we might receive the second one also sooner okay and then on the costing front from now onwards uh, uh, how how much uh, one can look at in terms of uh, cost reduction at least for uh, third and fourth quarter uh, i broadly? i think third quarter we are not expecting anything uh, mr shivan but fourth quarter because our fuel procurement uh, what was it 105 to 108 uh, now it is averaging close to 95 to 98 so the benefits of that which roughly translates to 75 to 100 rupees are likely to get uh, in q4 uh, 
ओके ओके गॉट इट गॉट इट एंड एंड जस्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कैपेक्स सो वी हैव इन द वन एच डन सिक्सटी नाइन ऑट करोड़ प्रीवियसली वी वर लुकिंग एट थ्री हंड्रेड ऑट करोड़ फॉर एफ ट्वेंटी फाइव सो दैट नंबर रिमेन्स इन टैक्ट Yeah, now let me give the breakup. Uh, at, at Sagar uh, standalone, we indicated it is 83 crores, out of which we spent 24 crores during H1. Yeah, likely that we may spend only 10 crores into H2. One of the changes that we have done is we are implementing uh, solar at Gudipadu, which is almost I think uh, by by end of November we should commission a 6 megawatt solar. Uh, that should that should get added up, but it may not truly reflect in because we went with a lease option. so from what we thought we should infuse from company we actually switched to the lease option so that will get implemented so only 10 crores would be spent further in sagar consol in uh, h2 uh, at at uh, jajpur what we have indicated at 6 is already spent uh, sorry jirabad uh, at andhra what we have indicated is 240 out of that 39 is spent likely that we might spend close to around uh, another 100 to 150 crores for h2 sir so that is continuing we are happy that uh, what we have indicated as uh, march 26 commissioning uh, we are running couple of months ahead of schedule as far as andhra is concerned so from a civil standpoint out of uh, 10 floors five five floors are already completed uh, at andhra so the progress on uh, andhra expansion project is going at a brisk pace uh, okay okay great uh, thank you and all the best sir thank you mr the next question we take from jyoti gupta jyoti if you could unmute yourself please and ask your question just wanted to have your uh, what have you budgeted for third quarter volume growth and better and fourth quarter where do you see the second half going for saga cements yeah, yeah we we are looking at close to 1.75 million to uh, 1.8 million for q3 okay. and the rest to Rest to come from Q4. Uh... Okay, and uh, the kind of EBITDA numbers that you have penciled in for the second half, do you uh, see right. that? Yeah, I mean uh, the industry. So at this things. point of time, at this, at this point of time, I think our struggle is to look at what kind of EBITDA numbers are likely to happen. Mm-hmm. I, I think we'll have a lot more uh, clarity by end of Q3. At okay. this point of time. Uh, Yeah, it's it's kind of flat, flat kind of EBITDA. Uh, I, I I think end of this month when the demand starts getting normalized, yeah, we will be in a much better situation to comment on. I believe the the demand will start picking up from the second half of November, and I and the industry is expecting a double digit growth. Do you see uh, booking at least re- registering high single digit, or you expect something like a double digit? Of course, there will be some setbacks. See, Jyoti, I'm 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 sure you are tracking the market. Uh, if you look at Andhra Telangana, you almost dropped by 30 percent year on year kind of a number. So so even a even a small surge would make it look very very high. But we do expect uh, the momentum to be lot faster because in our business, as you know, the demand doesn't get vanished; it only gets postponed. So our belief is that most of the weather-wise demand, which was challenging. The, Uh, for last couple of months, uh, with the with the weather improving, I think all of that should come back and added up with the new investments and the new projects. Uh, yeah, we we do expect uh, things to be lot lot better uh, compared to what what went on. Any status update on Amravati, sir? Now that uh, the see, I think uh, the the best part of Amravati is that uh, the financial closure is aggressively happening. I think the central government uh, loan of fifteen three thousand crores. Followed it up with another hardcore loan of fifteen thousand crores, and we do. I, I think government also is talking to few other uh, uh, large financiers to pump in some more. All this is extremely good news uh, from a demand perspective. That is one of the reason why we believe uh, we we do expect second half, or rather, uh, coming one and a half quarters to be extremely strong. So the international player, which is going to be a financier, any update on that? Apart from. Uh, I have no idea on that. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank, Thank you. you from my side. Thank you. Uh, we take the next question from Amit Murarka. Amit, you can unmute yourself. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, good morning, uh, Shrikant. 
Yeah. So just uh, uh, while you've already spoken a lot about uh, the situation on demand and and probably the ramp up of uh, the acquired capacities, but uh, I was just thinking more from a like medium to longer perspective. Uh, so uh, Amravati, I think by when you think it should start contributing to demand, uh, uh, and uh, could there be a meaningful pickup in demand once Amravati comes in? Just could you provide some sense on that? Yeah, Amit, I'm sure. Uh... See, these, these, this is a long term, medium to long term kind of a project. But the best part is, I think they are restarting some of the projects which were, you know, muted for last five years. So that should take fairly quick time. And at the same time, uh, the neighborhood of Amaravati, I mean, that, that's, that's where the bulk of the demand would come, which is more private driven. I think there the green shoots are already visible. So, so we, we do believe uh, that that should, that should be a quick start. I think weather improving uh, the neighborhood of Guntur and Vijayawada, uh, uh, already the real estate prices are slowly coming back to what they were. Uh, so given that scenario, I think even construction is likely to take uh, good shape. Uh, coupled with that, you know, uh, Telangana government as well as Andhra government is talking of low cost housing. So that the good news is they are, they are asking us not to talk about the pending money from the previous regimes. <laughs> <laughs> they are talking of something which they want to discuss uh, going forward. So those discussions already we are engaged with them. So these are some of the things we believe uh, should should add up to the demand uh, on a medium to long term. Okay, understood. And in terms of uh, uh, the capacity additions, uh, so, uh, I think Ultratech's uh, capacity got added recently, and I think only pending one is is the Tekken line clinker line, right? I think clinker line is already commissioned. Uh, I, we we are waiting for their uh, grinding capacity to be operational anytime soon. Uh, I I do not have the exact timeline, uh, but our understanding was it should be ready by December is what we we are made to understand on that. Uh, and actually, the clinker line of uh, my home also was commissioned. Uh, some portion of grinding also was commissioned, but I think there is one other line which is pending, which is likely before uh, end of this financial year. Uh, these are the few projects which uh, uh, got commissioned during last few quarters. So, uh, so Deccan Clinker line is commissioned, is it? Yes, sir. I think it is. It got commissioned a couple of months back, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, at least in the next 12 months, no more clinker lines are pending. Then. Uh, uh... Yeah, I, I, I think uh, except for line four of uh, Tadipatri Alta Tech, uh, yeah. nothing is due over next 12 to 18 months. Uh, of course. Uh, uh, Andhra's uh, expansion is likely yeah, to get commissioned by, also by there, yes. March 26. But we don't expect a huge volume jump. It is more from a operational standpoint. Understood. Understood. And um, uh, I just missed your commentary on on on, on uh, debt. Uh, what do you think your exit debt will be this year? If you could provide some guidance on that, I, I think our exit debt is going to remain very similar to what it has been. Uh, Amit, I think that is what we have narrated that the gross debt position would not be significantly different. But we did present in our uh, uh, quarterly presentation. I think our ex- exit debt uh, likely going to be somewhere around uh, fifteen. On, on a net debt basis, we should be somewhere around close to thirteen hundred odd uh, bond. Okay, even even though you will see pick up in capex in Andhra. Even yes, sir. I think our, our our idea is that whatever would have been paid, that is what we would like to borrow. Though though we are running slightly ahead of time uh, in terms of the project, so it might slowly slowly lip up. Small lip up might happen, but but I think our commitment to keep the debt levels very similar remains uh, uh, intact. Uh, Sure, sure. That's all from my side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next question we take from uh, someone going by the name of Iron Man. If you could uh, identify yourself and ask a question, please. Hi, sir. This is Ritesh from Investec. Uh, sir, a couple of questions. Uh, sir, how do you see supply side of the equation in South and in at India level for, say, this fiscal and next two fiscals? Yeah, South, I think uh, the demand supply equation probably, since the demand actually took a bigger hit, uh, the gap naturally is going to widen up uh, for the current year. Uh, uh, but, but I think going forward, uh, we expect a very similar situation, how it has been for over last one to one and a half decade, uh, Mr. Ritish. Those specific numbers I would be happy to share. Uh, 
uh, offline, but I think broadly uh, the demand supply equation uh, was more skewed towards uh, supply than demand uh, in South historically. I, I think the equation demand by supply probably is going to be very, very similar for a few more years in South. Uh, because whatever incremental demand, I think uh, matching supply has already come by. So, so there may not be a significant change in the overall kind of demand supply equation in South. Uh, India is too big for us. So, yeah, I would rather share the numbers, uh, what has been compiled by the team, uh, which I'm sure you are also reasonably well equipped to have those. Sure, sir. Uh, sir, my second question was, uh, how do you see pricing for Flash and Slack uh, for the regions that we operate in? See, Ritish, uh, now let, we, we have Slack uh, supply regions, only two of them. One is in Vizac and the other is in Rajpur. Uh, Vizac, uh, at this point of time, we have not seen any major changes in the Slack prices for last few years. So, and, and we don't expect it to be very different. But there are clouds hovering around uh, the RINL asset itself in Vizac. So, so given that scenario, the uh, likely supply for uh, Vizac would change from the current uh, Vizac centric to somewhere around Jagdalpur kind of area. So the landed cost of slag, we don't expect major savings to happen. We would be very happy if prices remain where they are. We, 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 we slowly started sourcing some amount of uh, slag even from Jagdalpur area. Uh, from the NMDC uh, blast furnace, uh, the landed cost more or less they matched with Vizac, but we have to see if Vizac plant closes down for whatever reasons, uh, then then we have to see how it will shape up. But the good news in uh, Jajpur area is uh, there are quite a few blast furnaces that got restarted and few more are getting added up. So with that we see stack prices slightly t- uh, going down than what they are. Our average Exhibition cost of slag uh, over last year or so, there has been a drop of almost 10 to 15 percent. So we are very happy to state that uh, even with the low capacity utilization at Jajpur, uh, we are much, much above the water as far as Jajpur asset is concerned. Thanks to the slag pricing itself. Right. Uh, sir, uh, thanks for the answer. Just a follow up over here. Uh, have we ever factored imports of flash and slag? Is it viable? Uh, or is that just a no-go zone? See, I, I, I think uh, for the assets that we have, uh, both in Vizac as well as uh, in Jajpur, uh, we, 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 we keep getting uh, quite a bit of uh, supply offers. But uh, at this point of time, they're almost 25 to 30 percent at a higher price than uh, uh, what it is. Flash is ruled out, uh, Mr. Ritish. Uh, Flash, the current supply, what we have, uh, uh, is very very compelling. I don't think uh, uh, import import could be an option for us at this point of time. Sure, sir. Thank you so much, and all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Mister. Thank you. We take the next question from Raman KV. Raman, if you could unmute yourself. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good morning, Mister Raman. Uh, good morning, sir. I just want to know the guidance for FR twenty five. A, yeah. Either in terms of revenue growth or volume growth. No, I think we did indicate to be around 5.75 million in terms of volume. Revenue, it is still a challenging position for us to take a call on the realization. So, 5 point? 5.75 million. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The next question we take is from uh, Rajesh Ravi. Rajesh, we can go ahead. Hi, sir. Uh, good, uh, good morning. Uh, my question, first question is on the incentives. Uh, you mentioned 23 crore was booked in Q2, right? And this is yes, sir. to before FY24. Yes, sir. Okay. And sir, are we not booking these uh, incentives on a cruel basis? Yeah, we are We are booking on a... No, no, no on receipt basis only, uh, uh, Mr. Okay. Rajesh. Okay. And uh, are these 23 number fixed in terms of value? Yes, sir. The... I, I, I think there is a marginal gap, uh, but but I think uh, that number should be around 21 odd crores for sure. Because okay. it's 150 crores divided by 7. And okay. some amount of electricity and all, which is a variable one, but that should be less than 1 to 1 and a half crore uh, uh, per okay. year, uh, Mr. Rajesh. And FY24 also you're expecting to come through? Something similar in... number is expected. H2 anytime it can... Yes, sir. It should hit us any time in H2. Mm-hmm. 
okay and second sir uh, you know if uh, how are we looking at the scenario x of these incentives we are at a bit of loss and q3 prices are further down from q2 in your post see I, I i think mr rajesh uh, it's more an issue of demand because mm-hmm. in our case if you look from a cost side we are we are doing reasonably well Correct. it's more an operating kind of uh, i think we come back to on an average at a group level 55 to 60% capacity inflation Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think four to five hundred rupees a bit of a turn is given, uh, Mr. Ash. Yeah, for that the pricing need to improve. But no, I think uh, more, more than that, our operating leverage itself should help us uh, get to that mm-hmm. number. Uh, okay, and uh, if I look at because if you look uh, at salary figure, you know, if you look at wage bill itself, mm-hmm. uh, if we if we kind of improve, that should itself contribute close to one hundred fifty rupees straight away. Uh, Sorry, what will contribute 150 rupees? The salaries and wages on an EBITDA per ton number mm-hmm. should should uh, come down by uh, half or close to that number. Just if we increase our group level capacity utilization to mm-hmm. 55 to 60 percent. Okay, okay. And the net debt to EBITDA number now we are north of six times six x. You know uh, what is? No, I think that we should look at a more linear number rather than one of number, uh, Mr. Rajesh. Correct, Ganesh. correct. No, no. I am looking at you know, uh, you know, how will this trend lower? What is? Uh, the I think we should we should come down. Uh, I think one in a normal year we should have come down to sub three. Uh, mm-hmm. I think this time it has been a very difficult year, so we expect correct. this year it to come down sub three number, uh, Mr. Rajesh. Okay, because FY twenty five seems to be on a slippery slope for everyone. You know, even Ultra Tech and all could hardly manage this quarter. If I look at the gray cement margin, would not be north of six fifty rupees. So obviously, everyone is under pressure. Yeah, Mr. Start. Rajesh, if you, if you if you look at our bit up a ton number in Rajput uh, without doing much also is at seventeen hundred rupees. Thanks to the incentives, Mr. Rajesh, those are all optical. But but mm-hmm. I think uh, more a linear number would be sub three uh, is the target. Internally, so we would we would we would come down to that number. I think FI twenty five has always been a challenge for us. So, so uh, I think this should be an exceptionally exceptional year for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, in a normal course, we should come back to uh, less than three kind of a number. Okay, and sir, so lastly on the uh, land parcel, this Andhra Cement land sale. Uh, yeah, we would we, we would we would wait to give clarity by by Q uh, three results, uh, Mr. Rajesh, because. Okay. Uh, Yeah, the government uh, slowly started working. So we have out of three, one we completed. We have two more steps to cover. Okay. Uh, so, so, so I think we we do expect uh, some amount of interface to get increased now. So we'll mm-hmm. have we'll be in a much better situation to 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 give update on that by end of Q3. Okay. And last question, sir. What would be the total capex target for this year and next year? Yeah, I think this year uh, we 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 should we should end up. Uh, so far, we did close to around sixty nine seventy crores so far in H one. So likely, from what we have indicated at three twenty nine, we we should end up close to two hundred odd crores. Uh, okay. Slash. Next year, how much you are targeting, sir? Uh, around three hundred crores. Um, yeah, two hundred this year, three hundred next year. Yes. Okay. Great sir, thank you. All the best. I'll come back in queue. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we take the next question from Kamlesh Jain. Kamlesh, you can go ahead. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, Second, just one question on the part of your uh, capex. Like, say you are like based on the timelines which have been provided in the presentation. So the uh, waste rate recovery. At the uh, Chipali is expected to come around, like say four years from now. So why is such a big timeline over there? And uh, it's all to do with the cash flows, uh, Mr. Kamlesh. So it's all to do with the capex planning. Uh, see, the 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 whole idea is that uh, in the Chipali, uh, so we would want to stabilize the kiln too first because it's under construction. Uh, uh, the preheater is under construction, Mr. Kamlesh. That is likely to that is likely to complete by March of 26. Though we are running a couple of months ahead of time, so after year of stabilization, only then we will want to start the waste recovery on that. And also, it is to do with the overall kind of cash flow planning. Okay, great, great, great. That's that's only the question.
to the next question we take is from Parth Bhavsar. Parth, could you go ahead? Yeah, hi, sir. So thank you for the opportunity. I have a few questions. The first one, uh, sir, I uh, wanted to know, like, uh, when do we expect expect uh, Andhra cement uh, facilities to you know become efficient at par with our units uh, March 26 uh, Mr. Park okay March 26 and sir what sort of EBITDA uh, like would it be at par with uh, uh, our facility like EBITDA per ton yeah slightly One, better than uh, I, Sagar yeah. Montempelli uh, Mr. Park because uh, realization is same because it's the same brand okay. uh, the cost impact is what uh, the, the, the reason for this upgradation is to to save on the overall kind of uh, overall costing, primarily to improve the efficiency of it. So it should it should get aligned or become better than Matapelli because it's a new generation Peter that is being installed in Andhra. Okay. Uh, and sir, like all these cement mills, they have, they have, they are, you know, mentioning that, you know, they are looking at, you know, cost savings in the range of 150 to 200 or 300 rupees, depending to company to company over the next two to three years. Do we have any such internal target? Yeah, Mr. Parth, I think uh, we definitely have a target, sir. I think members may not be as uh, high as most of the other people because fortunately in our case, most of the assets barring Andhra's current uh, this thing are, are, are all uh, upgraded and uh, relatively new. So our ability to save is minimal, not as aggressive. The other saving potential that we are looking at is the investments that we are doing on the renewable side which again we have indicated the timeline. So once they get implemented, sir, uh, it is spread over a time. So by 27, FI 27 to FI 28, uh, likely that we should have uh, a good saving on power and uh, energy. So, so can we like uh, give numbers on this like cost? cost? I think at this point of time, it's a challenge, Mr. Park, because uh, okay. uh, we, we would definitely revert as soon as we, 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 we compile on those. Uh, we would work on that and we'll be happy to share as and when it is. Fair enough. And sir, one last question. Uh, so given the you know, weak cement pricing in Andhra and Telangana and also weak demand, are there any low-hanging fruits uh, in, in terms of you know, assets that can you know uh, get get acquired? In- <laughs> Mr. Parth, I think uh, we, we don't know whether uh, there are so many sellers or those, so many buyers, but, yeah. but the buzz in the market is that everybody is talking to everybody. We don't know who is selling and who is buying. That is the current situation. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much for answering my questions. Thank you. Thank you. We have a we have a follow up question from Raman KV. Raman, do you want to go ahead? No, no, no. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. Okay. We have a follow. Uh, we have a follow up then from uh, from Shravan Shah. Shravan, do you have a question? Do you want to have a question? Yeah. Uh, sir, just wanted to check in presentation slide number 16, uh, the uh, 68 uh, kilowatt hours uh, for uh, metric ton and uh, uh, KKL 714, uh, which was there for Q2 and even Q1 also the similar, but for FY25, the, the, the same number is, is uh, uh, decently higher. So from 68. No, it's all to do with the operating leverage H7. It's because we did not run kill for most of the time. And this being no. monsoon season, usually it uh, gets played up. No, so that's what I'm saying. So once uh, it, uh, it increases, it should reduce. Uh, why uh, for FR25, we are saying it is on the higher side. Sir, these are all averages at a console level, sir. So that's, that's how it is presented. But I'm sure we should be much lower. But uh, uh, we, we, we did uh, do some improvements in Andhra that actually helped us to be slightly better... Uh, Okay, and and then similar for a uh, uh, green share. So uh, uh, Q1 was 14% and now uh, uh, 11.43. So close to 12, 13% for one H and for FY25 we are saying a 20%. But uh, uh, if I look at in terms of the uh, the new capacities that will be coming for uh, solar, is is not there. So how for uh, this number? Sir, hydro. Is? See, uh, Mr. Shevan, you should understand. Uh that our hydro stations are operational right now, which they were not available for H1. Because post-monsoon, our hydro stations start generating uh, Mr. Shabbat. They are available from now all the way up to March. Okay, okay, okay. Which were also not operational for last year because the reservoirs were empty. But fortunately, this time, I think reservoirs are full and for next two years, the outlook on hydro, hydro assets is extremely good for us. 
ओके एंड एंड लास्टली सर लीड डिस्टेंस दिस क्वार्टर 269 किलोमीटर वर्सेस 255 इन क्यू वन इज देर एनी स्पेसिफिक रीजन एंड इज इट फेयर टू से वंस अगेन इट विल कम बैक टू दू फिफ्टी If we go back to those markets, uh, uh, lead distance probably would move up four billion volumes because at this point of time, our, our we we withdrew from some of these opportunistic markets which are not remunerated. So once once market slowly improves, there is a possibility that lead distance also would move up. So that our target is to be below three hundred. So I think okay. I I would stick to that number. At this point of time, we have not done much into South Tamil Nadu. Or uh, far off places uh, because those markets were not as regulated. So most of those opportunistic orders we did not fulfill. Uh, uh, I, I got it, sir, but yeah. but uh, didn't understand. So in Q2, though, despite the volume was lower, uh, the uh, lead distance has increased uh, uh, decently, close to 14 odd kilometer. Yeah, we did so, service, sir. See, no, okay. it decreased, uh, Shavan. I think uh, you, you are reading it uh, slightly lower. It actually got reduced. To- uh okay uh because that's what uh, it decreased uh, shavan uh, okay okay uh, okay okay uh, uh, my mistake i got it thank you sir thank you uh thank you we have the next question from tom a kadavel tom can you go ahead yeah uh, i just wanted to know about the uh land monetization uh approximately uh, how many months we will take to get the monetization done yeah mr tom as i mentioned i think we would be in a much better situa- situation to give a clear update only in q3 uh, by end of q3 uh, mr tom on in that regard uh, because the, the government uh, approvals out of three major approvals we only received one two more are pending but okay. we'll have lot more clarity by by end of uh, q3 uh, okay okay that's it thank you thank you uh, thank you tom we have a next question from shreyans jain shreyans you could go ahead uh, hi sir can you just share the demand outlook for the southern market and the pricing environment for the next like let's say h2 and f26 what are you expecting yeah. it to be Yeah, Mr. Shahin. At this point of time, we are not in a situation to talk of outlook for the coming year. We would want to wait for the demand to shape up. But we do have a huge expectation for the coming year uh, because we believe in our business. Most of the time, uh, when the demand gets uh, uh, muted, especially because of uh, uh, difficult weather, we believe that gets postponed. So. so we believe in the last quarter most of the demand got uh, muted purely because of uh, difficult weather that is likely to get spread over coming few quarters as well as into the next year uh, at this point of time uh, we believe uh, it's too soon for us to take a call for the coming year but uh, q3 for half of q3 it has been absolutely very similar to how it has been in q2 because of the weather and uh, especially in in the current month where the october month has two festivals so it is likely going to be very low but we do expect from november november onwards it to pick up uh, we believe it is going to be at least 15 to 20% higher compared to the first half for the second half and most of it is likely to happen uh, uh, starting from november all the way up to march next year we we would be happy to comment on that uh, probably middle of uh, Q4. By then, we would have had a lot more clarity on some of the important projects that are happening in the in the markets that we are in. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Shreyans. Uh, we have no further we have no further questions. So, I request Shrikant to uh, conclude with his closing remarks. Shrikant, please go ahead, please. yeah thank you we would like we would once again like to thank each of you for joining us on the call i hope you have got all the answers you were looking for please feel free to contact our team at sagar or cdr 
Should you need any further information or have any further queries, we'll be more than happy to discuss them with you. Thank you and have a good day. And happy Deepavali.